Keep in mind, every team battle the Scourge lose, the Sentinel loses every team battle closer to defeat. And Dying does pick up a kill there, and I think Tie Hunter, no, Tie Hunter will be TPing out fine here at this point. And Doombringer is, you know, he is pretty durable, but he will um, take a lot of damage and look. And before I say it looks like, and Dying falls down one more time. So. Um, 21 to 23, despite pushing team a bit behind now. Witchdog, com Witchdog coming in to support. He has his. He's pretty stacked for Witchdog here at 21 minutes in. But they did have four, you no, know, six thousand extra go from the tower. So they're doing a pretty good job, and they're just chasing back and forth. I think again, this is the wrong choice. They should be constantly applying pressure and not chase heroes. And they will be migrating bottom lane, and uh, you know having a BOT at this point will be a really good job. I'm, I'm too, I'm really surprised why they didn't pick up a, a pit lord. I mean, Undying is a very good hero and all that, but I think pit lord might be a, the better hero in terms of pushing because you know the firestorm, the uh, the stun and all that is all good. But I think the best thing about the pit lord in terms of this strat is the global TP. Um, once you respawn, you could just, you know, team TP right back into the action. And that Undying, again, bossy with the Tombstone. Maybe the strategy is making the other team focus the Tombstone. I mean, that's a valid strategy, I suppose. But that Tombstone is a lot of DPS, so I think you should protect it at this point. Ice 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 doing the smart thing, dealing damage, focusing on the DPS. And again, these guys are just chasing the hero. I can't say this is the best choice. They should just all be right-clicking the, uh, the tower at this point. And you're just chasing, I mean, chasing the Vyjus, okay, whatever. Um, that tube, that Tinker backstabbing, and he, oh, he is losing a lot of HP. There will be a cast, and Tinker just got, falls down so fast. That just Doom that's not doing nearly in dam enough damage. Tie Hunter extremely low, and Tie Hunter will be falling down. So, oh my god, is Bulgaria's gonna take take the uh, mid lane, uh, bottom lane at this point, Chen extremely low, and Chen falls down to terror, good job there, it looks like Alchemist so low at this point, he does have two magic stick charge, he is under tower, f uh, fire tower is gonna bring him low, it looks like uh, the uh, <laughs> Vice is just gonna take him down, and Witch Doctor will be falling down, not before he takes down, oh, he does take down one hero, and uh, trading hero kill is not gonna benefit Sentinel, so despite getting hero kills, they're not gonna win, and, and Doombringer, is he trapped or something, he is creep tracked, oh, Oh my god, we is gonna we are seeing some Warcraft 3 creep blocking. That was some interesting stuff. I mean this game 23 minutes in my WT words per minute is like through the roof. I hope you guys are catching up. Sven got strength on the tower and he is doing a lot of damage and he just got an extra 150 go on that bird. And I just can't keep track. These heroes are dying, reviving every two seconds. And uh, nice stunning there. And looks like that Sven is just taking a bit of damage. They do have a Vladimir aura. I didn't even talk about it, but they are gonna pick off Undying now. I oh, Undying will live. Undying is actually getting some a lot of a uh, quick health back due to the aura and uh, due to having you know his uh, flesh go. It, look, he's getting all these HP back, and they will push bottom. They will get two racks now. Two melee racks. Looks like the mid uh, range rack has fallen down to not. Uh, proper defending not that they could be defending because they're putting up so much pressure so bulgaria are they gonna pull it out despite playing not the perfect game uh, but i mean Un unperfect dota is one of the most fun dota games to watch because you just cannot predict how this game will go i mean uh, Bulgarian team calling for save, sensing that this this is blood time. This is time to win. Calling for the save. There will be no uh, jiggling internet cord action in this land. So uh, you know, Aeon, the favorite team, falling in ESWC, maybe a bit unheard of, but it will be happening. So don't ever count the underdog out. And uh, they are gonna win. It looks like all five Sentinel heroes moving on the Dota map. Alchemist is going to change them himself. Um, all five Sentinel heroes moving onto the Dota map to top lane, and they will be pushing the top lane. Is this going to be the GG push? I don't know. I don't know. Once this, I mean, it really takes Scourge a couple of big team fights to win. I just, it's really bad to see not like. I know mecha mechanism is not the best item on a necrolic, but against a counter push team, you really, really need one. And I just don't, I don't know why Ice 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 is not picking up one. Um, just like 
for Sentinel, you, if you look at the item choices, well thought out. They definitely have to practice this. They really thought out and how to counter. It looks at that witch. I mean, if you looked at the witch doctor a minute one, going headdress, Sven going ring of Basavius, they have thought out the strategy. Meanwhile, the scourge not reacting too well. I know that Dota is in terms a very boring game in terms of you know every game very very similar item builds very very items uh, you know similar skill builds but just this scourge team not responding too well the only good response i've seen from the scourge is tinker picking up a soul ring but soul ring tinker is kind of being a trendy thing lately so i don't think he's actually you know countering this strat he's just picking up soul ring as a you know as a good item and just soul ring turns out to counter it but if you just the lack of mechanism the lack of a lot of aura item like yeah, Vlad would be so helpful ever at this point. Um, Tinker, you know, going the very standard ultimate orb into his hex. Hex is not; it's gonna be too late. But they will be initiating on Dirge. Dirge, it will survive through his Agamemnon scepter, and looks like they're doing so much damage with the. Uh, Sven and Alchemist, I think they will take this fight. Tyhunter is running. He is. He does get an ultimate. A, a couple guys, but I don't think they will win it. They do play off the Dirge, so they will be doing pretty good job. But meanwhile, uh, uh, the. Uh, Venge falls down. I think Chen will fall down as well. And I think this team fight is going everywhere. Actually, Purple picks up a double kill. Ty Hunter is getting focused at this point. And this Witch Doctor, oh my god, once this healing aura is going to go on, and they, they just don't, Sentinel just do so much damage and they tank so much. Just they just can't be stopped at this point. I think this is GG. And if you look at the, did I just see a ne Necronomicon? Who got the Necro Book? A Necro Book on Sven. I mean, Screw the blink dagger, screw whatever. They're just gonna get whatever item they need to win the game, and that's how Dota is supposed to play. Um, screw the cookie cutter build, and I just uh, Aeon. You know, despite me praising for the uh, for the experience, it's gonna fall down to a relatively unknown team, and there will be a lot of talk uh, and the Dota forums or whatever. D this is Mega Rax time, man. This is Mega Rax, and. Uh, Wow, what an exciting Dota game. Constant action, 20 May, 8 minute game decided Mega Rex. What a good game. And I'm just taking a pause to catch it. I mean, okay, you know, I, I, at the beginning of the game, I keep bashing on the Sentinel team, saying that they shouldn't be focusing the heroes. They shouldn't be focusing the hero, but it worked out. So, you know, I take everything I said back. They are clearly more experienced than I am. But in, in terms of the logical response, I don't think they should be put, killing heroes. They really should just be right clicking the tower. And it looks like Aeon will be calling a GG. So I'm going to pause the game and bring up the end game screen.